Hey guys, uh, Max here. So basically, I figured out a while ago a way to um, have DSR factors higher than four times. It's kind of weird. Uh, what you're basically doing is you're setting the resolution that then is going to have a DSR factor applied onto it. Um, so I have uh, the resolution I'm running at is, I'll show you guys, it's 6400 by 4800. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I can just show you. Nothing's gonna happen because it's set as that, so. Um, yeah, there's no anti aliasing on, too, which is like insane because if you look at. If you look at any edge, you'd think that there'd be anti aliasing because it looks so clean. I'm only asking for a single coin. Just a no anti-aliasing. Have pity on an old war veteran. So let's just go outside really quick, um, and then I'll show you guys what to do. Like, doesn't that look crazy? Like, I know this game's old, but this looks actually just the edges on things look so crazy. Like looking at that wall right there. I don't know how well this comes out. Maybe it just sounds like I'm freaking out over nothing. But this is pretty cool. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll just show you guys what's going on here. Let me quit Oblivion so you guys don't hear the music the whole time, too. <sighs> Although the music's pretty nice, I think it's kind of loud right now. So, what you're going to want to do is, first of all, figure out what your... Um, what the highest resolution your monitor will display is. And for me, the highest res resolution it will display like comfortably. Although I can go a little bit higher. It's But I'm doing 2048 by 1536 um, at 80 hertz. So then I go into uh, control or custom resolution utility right here. And we're going to set our first resolution as um, basically what we want as our native and then the second resolution is what we want uh, to be scaled down to our native resolution so this one's very important to have right this one doesn't really matter and actually I even show you like how crazy you can go with it like I was messing with this quite a bit trying to figure out what makes it work what doesn't make it to work and you could even do this for your timings you could have one 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 and that'll work um, sometimes it will work. It doesn't seem to be like consistent. Um, the trick though is to do interlaced right here and then refresh rate. I was having more issues the lower I went. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And then the pixel clock doesn't seem to be able to go past 400 megahertz. And I'm pretty sure I have the pixel clock patcher installed, uh, from Toast CX. Um, yeah, so I'm running 3200 by 2400 in at least, which was the highest I was able to get to work, but I didn't go through the process of like adding four, then adding, or adding eight, and then adding um, three here. But you can do that, and you could probably find out a higher resolution. Um, yeah, it's just pretty tricky. You'd have to just mess with it yourself and see what works and what doesn't. So then all you have to do is just, you know, do the normal custom resolution you stu stuff. So click OK and then restart. And then you, after all that works, you just go into NVIDIA control panel and you just set your DSR factors. And then once you do that, you can just select the resolution you want to run at. It says 36 hertz, but it will actually run at 80 hertz right here. So, yeah, it's it all runs really really well once you get it to actually work um, yeah but it is you're not running at that resolution you're running downscaled to whatever you have set as your native if you have a CRT monitor and then if you don't have a CRT monitor it's whatever the native resolution on your monitor is um, yeah so um, hope that helped you guys a lot. Oh yeah, by the way, also, if you try to set in custom resolution utility, god damn it, in custom resolution utility you set 
Um, you set your second resolution, the one that's going to be like all weird. If you set that as your first resolution, it's actually going to be downscaled to whatever uh, NVIDIA thinks is your monitor's native resolution. So for me, that was 1280 by 1024, which isn't right. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. See you later. If you got any questions, I probably won't be able to help much because this is all pretty weird. Um, it's really just a lot of trial and error. That's like my best advice for you. And just remember, first resolution is going to be your native. Second resolution is going to have to be interlaced. Try to stay under three, 400 megahertz uh, pixel clock. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys.